Hi there, welcome back to Stellaris Snail Wars, where we make the galaxy safe again, hopefully soon, as the unbidden are growing. They have nearly eliminated the once big and dangerous Great Vitrisius hierarchy. These are now pathetic. They had like 10 planets. They're reduced to nothingness. And we will see what becomes of them. The Kurgans have been able to stop them, but... Is it put their fleet power to inferior and when their fleet power was at inferior the Repex decided to attack them <laughs> and uh, not only the Repex as you see but also the Mytherine Serene Kingdom the Ultra Confederation and the Great Domana Autocracy so the Kurgans the once mightiest people of the universe with their superior technology are I'd say somehow done <laughs> even though they are in a federation with the moth people the stars of the stars and the great vitrezius but the great vitrezius yeah they are faltering moth people are hmm, they are still okay for now the stars of the stars are still superior in their fleet power but that will change once the unbidden wander over So what are we doing at the moment? We are upgrading our protectors of the inner shell. It's still some time, but it is a really big upgrade that cost us about 5,000 of the minerals. So um, yeah, <laughs> there is something coming. Also, we need to check on uh, the T humans and stuff to see when we can do something again. Also. Um, our entire nation stands united in the contempt we feel towards you. <laughs> Not really. My stomach churns at the mere sight of you. Rightfully so, because... Uh, yeah... You shouldn't eat us. Stop that. <laughs> Let's see. We want to build... Mm, maybe more spaceships. And we also wanted to build more corvettes. This is our covet planet. Let's just give us a bunch of covets to work with for the protectors of the inner shell. Yeah, look at that. This is going to to need a long time. Long time in Tisalum Prime. After that time, we'll be happy to attack the wall again in 2366. The next uh, war against the wall we will, will begin because yeah that's when the truce ends that's when the truce ends and we're pretty happy because the rainbow light and the equis league split up yeah there's a lot of uh, not that dangerous things going on here for us like these big countries splitting up again. Stars of the stars that will soon have the unbidden near. All of that makes us pretty hopeful. The yeah, unbidden. Maybe a test of, of Nautilon. Maybe a gift from Nautilon. We'll see about that. And we'll crank up the speed. <laughs> And as I said, I think more corvettes are useful here. Our corvettes are really good now with the improved afterburners we have and all of all of that. Aha. Uh -huh. Ending their rivalry with the Great Vitrezius. Just before the Great Vitrezius are absolutely annihilated by the Unbidden. Yeah, now there's also, from a gamey standpoint, there's really a thing to worry about in the Unbidden. Because now the Unbidden are not that strong, but they will grow stronger as their area gets bigger. So that's something to consider. So as soon as we can reach them, we should really battle them. <laughs> because that's our only chance, probably. 
Now we have finished them, some of the Corvettes building. Uh, let's go for more of them. Not many more, but some more. Also, let, let's look at our new planets. We wanted to improve the spaceports there. Let's give them orbital hydrophony farms. I think that's a good thing. And on Nautilon's horizon... Oh, they, are, oh, they already have synchronized defenses going. Well then. It's good to... Oh. Oh, 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 oh. Sleepers awake. It began as a subtle shift in Laven behavior. Scattered reports of their ships, once rarely seen outside their own space, now being spotted in remote systems all across the galaxy. Highly advanced scouting vessels visiting ancient ruined worlds, refusing all hails and fleeing when attacked. Their purpose and mission unknown until now. We now know that the Lavis were preparing, recovering the data banks of survey beacons and automated scouting posts left behind when they retreated to their present borders, gathering information for their return to the galactic stage. In Lavis space, fleets are gathering, armies are being mustered, and ancient factories roar to life. For the first time in an age, the Lavis mediators are looking outwards, beyond their borders and toward the galaxy at large. As their decaying shipyards are repaired and refitted, and the dormant systems of Titan foundries come online, the rest of the galaxy is left with one question. Who will this once sleeping giant target first in their quest to reclaim age-old glory lost? The Lavis Forerunners. They're here. Probably the Unbidden or oh, the Rapax have awakened them. Let's have a look at them. Awakened Ascendancy now. They're fanatic cinephiles. Oh no, they hate us. Join us, Nautiloids. Only together can we prevail against that which threatens us all. So they are probably here to... They are custodial. They want to protect us from the crisis currently threatening the galaxy. They are likely to attempt to ally, ally us. We can invite them to the Federation. <laughs> um... I don't know. <laughs> well, when the Lavis awaken, the Uzanase, the fanatic spiritualists may also awaken, and the Kalaxinen shard, which we want to join, fanatic xenophobes. They might also awaken. So it is noteworthy that uh, the Rapax, I think, have eclipsed them in power. Let's have a look at the relative power. No, <laughs> now they are awakened. They are back. They are above the power of the unbidden. But the Grapex are pretty damn close, I'd say. I mean, they're into superior for us, and... Um, yeah, the Usanase protectors are as well. <laughs> so, I mean, would it be good to ally with them? Probably yes, but will they say yes to some kind of war? Probably no. But if we don't invite them to Federation, someone else will probably. So we will have to do that <laughs> with plants. But we are afraid of them because they are incredibly powerful. So if we can invite them to Federation, 
I will do so. In a federation with xenophiles. But that's the paranoia we have. That will drive us to it. Let's invite them. Let's do this. This will increase their trust of us by one each month to a maximum of 100. Yeah, join the Holy Shell Pact. Our main motivation is that they don't join the wall. <laughs> Confirm. Greetings. Greetings. Yes. Vote yes. Come on. <laughs> yes, we have the <laughs> mediators in the whole federation. Oh no. <sighs> oh. <coughs> they are part of the federation now, right? The return of the Lavis to the Galactic Sea has not gone unnoticed by the other fallen empires present in our galaxy. The Kalaxenon in particular appeared most agitated at the news. It seems that these two precursors are ancient rivals, and though the reasons for their rivalry has long since faded into history, the sudden reawakening of Lavis mediators has inflamed old animosities and triggered a counter-reaction. Oh no, <laughs> we were too quick. The Kalaxene and Restorers have roused themselves from their slumber to face the old rivals with the whole galaxy as their battleground. What will this mean for us all? No. <laughs> They'll destroy us all. The Kalaxene and Shard. Request thraldom. We can become their thrall. If they accept, they will be unable to attack us, but we will have to pay them 25% of our mineral and energy income. We cannot afford that. As a thrall, we'll be forbidden from colonizing. No. They are imperious. A future subject. No, we don't want to give up our independence. Better cooperate with the, with the xenophiles. <coughs> That's not something we, we would otherwise do. This is scum. It's the xenophile salad very dangerous but these guys they're xenophobe predators no just no now look at the at the holy shell pact have they joined us yet has it been done Thraldom demand. This diplomatic proposal will be automatically declined on 236172. There is no need for you to perish. Seize your expansion and accept us as your masters and you shall be spared. Oh no. <laughs> oh no. Um, how long will that be up there? For a while, right? We still have dip dip diplomatic response. We have discussed your federation proposal and decided that it is not for us. Oh, come on. Oh, come on. Oh, no. Oh, no. The power. The fight for power has begun. They are arrogant now. <laughs> Dismissive ignorance. <coughs> Hey, come on. Why do we, why do you hate us? Just because we're xenophobes and slavers and are purging? Can we become a signatory? We can offer to sign their proposed galactic peace treaty. If they accept, they will protect us, but we will be unable to conduct independent diplomacy and wage wars. We will also be required to ban slavery and purging. Oh, no! That's not something we'll do. Better become the tributary. God, this is going to be... Oh, no. Ah. <sighs> Rapax, help us. Can you help us, please? Can you somehow join our forces, our federation? No. Oh. <laughs> this is gonna be hard. <laughs> I mean, I know who will join them, right? It's gonna be the Vol. <laughs> it's the Vol that will join. What chance do we have against the 
the Kalaxenans. And let's find out what we can do as uh, their tributary, right? As their thrall. If they accept, they will be unable to tag us, but we will have to pay 25%. We are forbidden from colonizing. That cannot be done. Colonizing is our one and all thing. A thraldom demand. Seize your expansion. We are all about expansion. You cannot do that. So no war or no expansion, with, which is basically the same. Ah, but we would be able to have a war then here. Now we would give them 25% um, of the energy income that will oh, will bring us down by a lot. But it's better than being destroyed, right? Let's wait for a little. I mean, we have some time still. We have some time still to decide. Let's see what the others do. Construction complete. So here he has finished the construction queue. Ah, uh, yeah. Construction There's another complete. battleship coming. Oh, this is not going as we wanted it to go. I think we will have to become thralls. What are the what are the space roaches doing? A part of a federation. I mean, we should be really good, right? Against them, maybe. I don't know. I mean, what's their power? They're probably at the 100k mark. We have the roaches at our side. That have around 50k, maybe. Research complete. <coughs> complete the research of gene seed purification. The gene warrior army. Nucleotide purification techniques allow for the isolation and refinement of particularly desirable genetic traits. Very nice. Thank you, Nautilon. And now? What do we have now? Oh, look at that. I would consider that uh, a gift from Nautilon as well, as it's a rare technology. Even though it's a dangerous technology. <laughs> but that's okay. I mean, it's a gift from Nautilon still. It is not too costly. It will give us a much better jump drive. Jump drive range. Eliminating the distance between the point of origin and the destination, supposedly. Wow. Harnesses the psionic potential of the ship's crew. Why is that dangerous? Instantly jumping vast distances. Yeah, we want the we want the jump drive here. I mean, it's the gift from Nautilon. We will have to do this. Plus seventy percent here. Hmm. <laughs> With Rahul Sundaram, is there someone better? We've got Svetlana Kamensky. There's no one that is really better at that. So yeah, <laughs> we'll have to go about this. <laughs> 74 months, but then we'll have the side jump drive. And it's dangerous. 'Force the vessel through the very fabric of reality. Ooh, I mean, we'll play on a bit. 
until the time arises to accept or decline the diplomatic proposal and then we'll think long and hard about it. We don't want to accept, but maybe we have to. Hmm. Let's uh, not build any more ships for now. Or like anything. What will being a thrall bring us? And what is here in Nautilon's egg? What's going on here in the Seekers of Nautilon system? Yeah, let's have a look at our sectors. Are they out of minerals once again? They could use some. They could use some. Let's give them some. They are fine. But the Seekers of Nautilon definitely could use some. Look at that. They are now putting out much of research. Really much. Very good. Hoo, 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 hoo. <laughs> there goes our plans. Out of the window they go. The mediators. Overlord of the Diri Cartel. <laughs> what? Ah. Will we become thralls? Oh god. There are also the Uzanak protectors. Can't you wake up too? We would become your whatevers. Do not trespass on the holy sites. Anyone who breaks this commandment will be dealt with according to the ancient protocols. Can't, can't you awaken? We want to join you. A recruiter, champion of the people. That's the last day to decide. <laughs> Oh, <laughs> Submit to our rule or be exterminated like the vermin you are. There is nothing further to discuss. You'll be forbidden from colonizing, but we, we have, we have nothing to colonize at the moment. And can we unthrall ourselves someday? That would be good, like, really good. Huh, world shapers, corvette focus. I don't know. Mm. Yeah, let's find out next time what we'll do. <laughs> Will we become thralls of these uh, of these jingoistic reclaimers, or will we become mm, the the playful partners, the signatories of the Levis mediators, uh, unable to conduct independent diplomacy and wage wars? also be required to ban slavery and purging. Ah, oh, God, this is really... Uh, this is really too hard for us. We cannot become a signatory, and this is salad, too. We'll have to... I mean, at least the Calaxine and Restorers leave us to um, be able to conduct some war, right? Against the wall. So this would still be open. This road would still be open to us. So thank you for watching. Happy gaming to you. And see you in the next most interesting episode of Snail Wars. Let's make the galaxy safe again.